Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social and Association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Always a pleasure, Mr. Alfie Sharman from The Zone. How are you, mate? Oh, very well, thanks, Charlie. Yeah, quite a few days, you know, but uh, good. Uh, let's talk about it. What a, a hellish couple of days it's been for everyone. Us members of sort of the press and, and doing reporting have been trying to scurry and find opponents and find detail. Uh, yourselves probably finding a plan of action to make sure the show still goes ahead now not on pay-per-view team aj to find of an opponent matram to find out what the hell's going on what a crazy crazy 72 to sort of four or five days it has yeah and you know one thing i will say and which is a positive is the way that everybody is kind of collaborate i said it at the top you know how everybody's collaborated in quick time right the way down from who's aj fighting right the way through to our you know, our pricing, as you mentioned there, making this a subscription fight, which I think is a fantastic uh, subscription card. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not been a great, it's not been a great few days, but we, you know, we move, we're in the sport. Um, we work in sport generally, boxing in particular is particularly volatile. Um, we are disappointed with the, um, you know, obviously the news from Saturday, but we move and we're in a position now where I'm standing talking to you and we've got a great event on Saturday. So I'm, I'm feeling quite, quite content, I think. We know that the white fight was going to be one that does huge pay-per-view numbers. We've heard from Eddie and Matram that they've had to sort of, and to zone that everything's had to be re-evaluated. AJ's got to take a lesser purse. You guys are going to have to take lesser on the event. Even the gate will probably do slightly less due to refund. Um, I suppose from a business perspective, what sort of moves do you have to make in this time? We have to compromise. Our objective um, from the second the news landed, and I mean this genuinely, within five minutes we... Um, had taken a breath, uh, assessed the situation, and then very quickly landed on the fact that we wanted a fight on Saturday, uh, and that had to be Anthony Joshua. So we don't have too much time to kind of dwell on things. You have to make decisions fast. I think we've made a lot of very good decisions. Matram handled it exceptionally well, I think. Our teams behind the scenes, as I said before, are, uh, are doing very well to make sure that we deliver it. And look, we, we, make, we, we make the right decisions commercially as well. Um, we could not we couldn't not adapt to the pricing of the event. It's a different, it's a different headline act, but there is still massive value. I think Eddie said it up there. You know, the, the, the refund uh, from tickets has been negligible. Uh, similarly, on our platform, there's still a massive appetite um, for this event and the whole card. So you compromise, you make, you make, you adapt, you make moves, and uh, and here we are. It seems now, from speaking to Frank Smith yesterday, from speaking to Eddie today, Saudi representatives will be in London this week. Uh, we know that they're representing Derek Chisora anyway, along with 258. But um, from Matram and DAZN's standpoint, it seems like they just want to get signed on the Wilder fight ASAP and move forward with that. Seems that way, yeah. I mean, uh, personally, I didn't, realize, didn't, I didn't know they were here. Um, but, yeah. I mean, it's good signs. I think, that, you know, everyone wants to make things happen. We appreciate that fights... There's a lot of talking, especially in the heavyweight, and sometimes justifiably. And so it takes a lot of time to make fights, it takes a lot of effort. Um, we need to get moving. Um, so why not do it simultaneously with one taking place? So it makes sense. Eddie and Frank have sort of hit back and said, look, it's not gonna be someone like Ruiz, Parker, uh, sort of your uh, Dempsey McKean, Jahergovic is on this short of notice. The money that people demand, we know Adjit Kabayel came, who was meant to be the provisional opponent for August 12th before White signed, uh, asked for double the money in the first fight. When you're on a short time constraint, obviously you work in marketing, options are fairly limited and Helene is probably the best of, not an ideal bunch, but you've got to make it move. Yeah, fair play to it. I, you know, I mean, the guys, um, you know, been in, been in with the best, um, you know, experience, he's got some great wins in his career. You move quickly. Um, obviously, it's not an optimal way to work. So last minute, um, when that does happen, you take you know Matchroom. You know, to, to take a step back, Matchroom know our business very well. They know the types. Of, they know our objectives. Broad, broadly speaking, they're a partner. They're not a uh, you know transactional um, you know shop for us. You know, so they bring opponents who um, they know are going to move the needle for the zone and our objectives. So we didn't spend too long on that, um, which again was quite positive. We landed on Helenia, so I think it's a great, great fight. It's a challenge for AJ, he's got to pivot himself. So here we are, let's see. We've been told so much about the second half of the year. The zone themselves, does everything feel like it's in a good place? Happy spirits, we know that sort of pro Grey Haney's on the verge of being done. Cordina will return in September in Cardiff. You've got Jack Cattrall against Lenore. Um, the huge one, KSI Tommy Fury, and then into Wood Warrington. More to be announced, but as of right now, uh, we know that sort of 
Matchroom are happy. Does Zone are happy with the schedule? We are happy. Yeah. I mean, look, we're we're in a position where, you, you know, just listed out uh, a handful of shows there over the next four months, right? Which see us right the way through up to the colder months. Um, and I know there's more to come. There's more to be announced. There's more being worked on in the background. Obviously, I can't disclose them just now, but um, we're a subscription service. We need frequent events. Those that you've just outlined there are all part of your subscription. Uh, KSI being the exception. Obviously, Logan Paul has now just been added to, to that card. So, look, we're in a position where we've got a selection of great fights for our very diverse audience, which is growing. Uh, and we're, we're very happy, yeah, we're very happy. Happy, just a final message. Why should viewers tune in Saturday night? Well, because it's, because it's such a last minute change, I think it puts a bit of a test on AJ, right? I mean, he's been preparing for Billion White, someone who he knows very well for 12 weeks. Uh, he's got Hellenius, who's a, who's a big lump. I didn't realise he was quite as big as he was until I got here. Um, and look, AJ's on his, on a, everyone's clear on his journey and where he wants to get to. So um, tune in for not only AJ, but a massive, a massive, um, a massive card of great fights. Alfie, always a pleasure, mate. Top man, thank you for speaking to us.